welcome to uh, bitunet uh, code challenge uh, channel so guys uh, in this session today we'll uh, be discussing about uh, network devices uh, network topologies and uh, cabling so uh, let's have a look at the first slide so first of all we have a kind of device that's a, that's called uh, as a hub it's actually a non intelligent device and it uh, broadcasts every message that is uh, sent to hub and uh, the message transfer messages transfer to all the ports except the source port okay this it is not used these days because uh, hubs are normally replaced by switches let's have a look at next slide and then we have a device called switch switch is basically a intelligent device uh, because it stores mac address of every device that is uh, connected to it uh, it works on mechanism mechanism of uh, listening learning and for forwarding whenever any device send a message across the switch it learns its mac address stores it and then forwards uh, the data to the uh, intended recipient to which it should go if the mac address uh, of the intended recipient is not in the switch uh, database then it uses arp technology to find the mac address of the device mm -hmm. uh, mainly it does unicast multicast and uh, broadcast whenever required similarly uh, just like switches we have uh, bridges also uh, bridges used to be they are called uh, low lesser uh, uh, port uh, switches with a lesser number of ports uh, switches se pehle ye hum uh, bridges use karte the but these days uh, bridges have been uh, replaced by switches uh, they divide uh, networks into a separate collision domains and then we have routers uh, routers they route a data packet based on their ip address routers route or forwards the data from one network to another for example let's have a look at uh, this picture if uh, any uh, let's ex uh, take example of this network towards left hand side let's say if this is a red network okay so all the data that is coming uh, through this router okay this router will forward the data that is for this network uh, towards left hand side uh, rest all the data will be uh, either rejected or uh, transferred to a different location by the router so this is a layer 3 device and uh, i hope you guys know that uh, switches are uh, layer 2 devices because they work only on the base of mac addresses routers work on on the basis of ip addresses then we have firewalls they they are the uh, of two kinds software and hardware firewalls they control communication coming into and out of network so we can decide what kind of data should enter into our network and what kind of data should go out of our network so that we do with the help of firewall then we have modem modem is a device that is normally used to convert analog signal electrical signals are uh, come in the form of analog signals so uh, we use uh, modem that converts analog signal to a digital data modem stands for modulation and demodulation it modulates and demodulates the data so the maximum speed that we normally get from modem is around 56 kbps then we have wireless access points uh, let's suppose we have a network and then uh, to this network we have a wireless access point that is connected through a, a wire okay so if we want to access our network wirelessly uh, from laptop we need to have a wireless access point in place so that uh, this wireless access point can provide us the access to network gateway gateway is a kind of device that joins two networks together agar aapne dekha hoga hum apni machine pe jab bhi network card ko ip address dete hain to hum us pe default gateway dete hain right so that is that default gateway is the ip address of a 
our router okay because our router joins two networks so that's why uh, we call it default gateway so gateway by definition is uh, it's a device that joins two network together it doesn't change the data it only changes the format of data then what is network in interface card guys jo hamari machine mein uh, hamare desktop mein laptop mein switches routers mein har ek mein communication ke liye ek hame interface chahiye us uh, interface ko hum kehte hain network interface card that is used to connect a computer to a network using an ethernet cable it converts serial data into parallel data and provides a constant dedicated connection to network then we have wireless network cards they also connect to network but they do that with the help of antenna okay we don't need to plug in any any wire into wireless network cards they uh, pr provide connectivity wirelessly and they are convenient way for computers to connect to a network without hassles of cable then we have rj11 con connector this is a rj stands for registered jack okay this is used in telephone jack it is used to connect modem to computers it has a hinged lock tab that locks itself in place it resembles rj45 but is smaller in size जो आर जे फोर्टी फाइव होता है वो कनेक्टर थोड़ा बड़ा होता है और आर जे इलेवन थोड़ा छोटा होता है सो दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ आर जे फोर्टी फाइव कनेक्टर इट्स द मोन मोस्ट कॉमन नेटवर्क कनेक्टर यूज विद एट वायर्स एंड दैट हैव ट्विस्टेड पावर पेयर केबलिंग एंड दिस इज यूज इन लेंस इट इज इट रेजेंबल्स आर जे इलेवन बट इज लार्जर इन साइज then uh, we have different kind, kinds of cables that we use in our network so first one we have is utp cable that stands for unshielded twisted pair is the most common type of cable used today it consists of four pair of wires twisted around each other wires are twisted around each other to prevent electromagnetic interference then we have stp cable stp stands for shielded twisted pair cables okay it includes a metal shielding over the copper wire this metal shielding helps us to protect the cable from the electromagnetic interference and then we have different kinds of uh, categories of cables that we use today and these cables uh, come into four uh, different categories depending upon the speed so first of all we have category 3 cable that uh, uh, shares the data at the speed of 10 megabits per second category 5 give the speed of 100 megabits per second category 5e gives speed of uh, 1000 mbps and category 6 gives speed of 1000 mbps and there are uh, wiring standards that uh, have been developed by TIA and EIA and these standards uh, define the rules on how twisted pair cable should be wired to RJ45 connectors so whenever we have to connect a uh, device to same kind of device we use a straight cable Uh, wire and when we have to connect a device to a different kind of device for example a computer to a switch we use uh, 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 straight through so wiring standards are of two kinds one is 568a and other is 568b then we have uh, different kinds of connectors that we use to connect our cables first is bnc connector this is common type of connector and uh, bnc stands for bayonet nail concealment it's used for both analog and digital video video as well as audio then we have f type connector it is used to connect uh, connect coaxial cables it's used today primarily by cable providers to attach to cable modems तो ये इसको हमें हैंड से टाइट करना पड़ता है टू द नट सिमिलरली वी हैव कोएक्सियल केबल्स 
uh, that are used by uh, cable uh, TV providers and they uh, are used to provide uh, broadband internet connection and these K coaxial, coaxial cables are of two kinds RJ6 and RJ59 RJ6 is made for long distances and commonly used for cable television and internet connection RJ59 is made for short distances and generally used for high definition and high quality video guys then we have a uh, fiber uh, optical media so the first is SMF SMF uh, is a optical uh, fiber that is that use light source uh, uh, as a as a single uh, at a single angle okay light enters from one end at a single angle so that's why it is able to go at long distances then we have a multi mode fiber so in multi mode fiber we uh, have light source uh, hota hai, usse hum, uh, light ko, uh, different angles pe, uh, signal so that uh, but it is uh, for short distances then we have straight tip connector it's a fiber optic cable connector it uses a half twist bayonet type of lock and the commonly used with single mode fiber optic cable then we have LC connector L local connector is a fiber optic connector and this its jack is similar to RJ45 it's commonly used between the floors on building similarly for optical networks we have a SC connector this SC connector stands for standard connector and uh, it's also a fiber optic cable connector it uses a push pull connector similar to audio and video plunks and this is also used between floors on building guys then we have different kinds of topologies that we use in our network so the first topology uh, th that used to uh, have uh, was a bus step topology actually in this topology uh, there is a single cable that spans across the network so uh, uh, we us, cable ke saath apne sari devices ko connect karte sari machines ko end users ko and uh, they get the internet connectivity so uh, to connect to the, that uh, central cable we use b and c connectors right and uh, at the other ends of the uh, this uh, BS uh, bus topology cable we use terminators to terminate the connection so another kind of topology we have in our networks is star topology where uh, there is a hub at center okay and uh, this uh, hum is hubs ke saath apni machines ko uh, connect kar dete hain and uh, to provide us connectivity and uh, this hub is a single single point of failure so agar ye hub fail ho jaye then there will be no connectivity to any machine and uh, all the data that we uh, send so goes through this hub then there is a ring topology in which every machine is connected to at least two other machines so this we get redundancy mil jati hai. Uh, there is no single point of failure but this is also used uh, depending upon the uh, your requirement in our networks then we have the mesh technology so mesh ne technology mein kya hota hai every machine is connected to every other machine so it provides a redundancy and there is no single point of failure in this kind of network agar ek connection toot bhi gaya right so device is able to communicate to, uh, to the network through other routes so internet is the perfect example of mesh technology and uh, guys please also note that this is an expensive kind of technology because there is an expense of lot of cabling uh, and connectors etc in this then uh, we have hybrid technology where we use combination of uh, bus star and uh, mesh technologies so this is an example of star and bus technology we have we have two star uh, networks that are connected to each other with the help of bus cable so this central one is 
so this is a bus uh, network right so uh, in case uh, uh, this uh, network uh, breaks then the connectivity across the two networks won't be there but they will be able to connect to each uh, inside their own network but not to a different network then we have hybrid topology star ring let me remove this so in star ring we have uh, two star networks that are connected to each other in form of ring so that even if uh, at one end uh, the network breaks right let's say if this breaks then connectivity is available through other side let me rub, rub it up okay now we have a uh, different kinds of networks uh, physical networks so one is called a personal area network so this kind of area Uh, network is generally used for transferring small files and they uh, are in uh, very short range for example uh, whenever we are trying to connect uh, mobile to mobile or mobile to laptops right so that kind of network is called personal area network then the most common uh, uh, network that we used in our uh, homes and in our companies is called lan okay uh, the technology that we used in lan is called ethernet uh, we use K cat5 or cat6 type of cables uh, for connectivity in lan then the next kind of network we have is man and man sp spans across uh, buildings or cities and we use fiber fiber optical network to connect to different networks then uh, next ne network is called wan wide area network that spans across cities countries and continents so this is the largest network uh, uh, that exists today the uh, single example of wan is internet okay guys so that was all about uh, today's video in case uh, if you like this video please uh, hit on like button and subscribe to the channel if you would like to uh, watch uh, the same kind of videos jis kis tarah ke videos aap mujhe chahte hain main aur lekar aaun aapke liye to aap comment section mein mujhe bataye and uh, thank you for watching this video